Hey guys, Pam here. Got to talk to you for a second about yesterday. Oh, yesterday was so amazing. You're not going to believe. I looked at the clock and noticed that it was the 12th. It was May 12th. And these little bells and dings and whistles started going off like, it's been two months since I bought the van. Two months. I should have been long gone and living my best life out of here already, you know? Two months. So I thought about that for a couple hours because it was still dark when I got up yesterday morning. So it's daylight and I'm kind of stirring and, you know, fixing me a drink and getting up doing my little daily Phoebe cat, you know. And I just decided, you know what? YouTube's going online today. We've done decided what the channel name is going to be. I keep saying we. It's just me. I had already decided what the channel name was going to be. I've been kind of saying it in my head. Uh, there's a couple of videos that I made that I actually did on purpose just to talk about it in that context just to call that channel out and just to say that channel name and to kind of get used to hearing it and determine if it sounded okay or not because when i watched it back in videos i'm like that is cute i like it it sounds good so yesterday ham and ram was born on youtube um mosquitoes It's up and running. There's only one video right now that's public. I did upload a second video and I have it scheduled to come out on Sunday. I believe for right now, I'm going to upload once a week on Sundays. I don't know what the future holds. I may get somewhere that I can upload a couple times a week or maybe even every day. Um, I kind of feel like every day is going to be tough for me because I'm not trying to live in a city like I'm gonna be out with no service and stuff probably more than one or two days at a time like there may even be some weeks I don't hit Sunday because I'm out with no service but we'll see um, I'm anxious to go regardless but Pam and Ram YouTube channel is running and I'm very proud of that I have content however that should hold me for a little while. You know, I've been making videos and as I've ordered things, I've had, um, there's some unboxing videos and then there's been some that I didn't expect to make, uh, like the issue with the property taxes. That was a whole rant kind of life story video that I made and I uh, wasn't expecting any of those. So I think I have content enough that should last until I can get the van fixed and then get the house gutted out and everything in storage or sold or whatever I'm going to do and uh, be ready to drive out of here. Plus, uh, back in April, I don't even remember when, like the first week in April, somewhere in there, I made an Instagram account. I've never been one to play on Instagram or use Instagram. Um, I've heard about it for years, you know, and uh, I just didn't care for it. Like the Kardashian show, they were talking about it on Instagram. They saw this and that and the other. It's like, if it's going to just start drama and be a pain in the behind, I have it. <laughs> so I just never had it. But I thought with this new channel and this new brand, if you will, not that that's what I'm trying to do. I just, I wanted to have the Instagram, at least the name, so nobody else would take it and use it and people think it's me. Peace bugs. <laughs> but when you make the account and then you go to log in, there's this thing that your account's been deactivated, or I don't know, breach of terms or something and you have to roundabout way you have to send them a picture of yourself holding up a code number and it was just an all-around pain in the behind and every picture I sent them they come back with we cannot reactivate your account this time you, you need to send this code number it would just be the same email 
So I would do it again and send a new picture. I don't know why <laughs> or what the deal was. I kind of feel like they just have software that scans those pictures. And if there was a, I don't know, maybe bandana thingy in my way that they couldn't scan my whole face or something, maybe that was what was doing it. I don't know. But yesterday I got an email that that Instagram account has been reactivated. It's all yours. Here you can use it. Here's our terms and blah, blah, blah. Don't fuck up. <laughs> oh, should I redo that? Yeah. Like don't, don't beep up. Oh my goodness. So now YouTube is up and running. It's scheduled. It's got videos on it and scheduled. Uh, Instagram is now finally after six weeks or so I get access to the account that I made and uh, I haven't even put it on my phone yet <laughs> but so then I thought you know worst case scenario planner in me thought um, I'm gonna have to go right now because YouTube is live I cannot take the chance or the risk that somebody's gonna see that channel and think, oh, that's such a cute name and run by the dot com out from under me. <laughs> it's how my mind works, people. I'm telling you, worst case, all the time. So I had to go beat everybody to the punch <laughs> and go by pamandaram.com. So, ooh, that's a big mosquito. So I spent yesterday afternoon, um, I used their, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go spray down. So I spent the afternoon using their little web editor and kind of put a little site together just so I could have my information on there and not a placeholder for the hosting company. So pamandaram.com is now live and to top it all off. The thing that made yesterday the most beautiful day ever, the dealership called, my engine is there. Oh, I was so excited. I'm like yelling at this guy, like, oh my God, when can I come? When do you want me to come? When can I come and drop it off? Blah, blah, blah. I was just, oh, I was so excited. And he's like, okay, Pam, wait, 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 wait. He's like, I want you to know the engine is here. Yes, it is ready for you. Yes, but you got to give me a couple of days to secure you a loaner car because I had asked him before uh, the last time I was there, like, were they going to loan me a vehicle? Because I, what am I going to do if this, you know, this thing's going to be gone like a month? I got to drive, you know, I got to, <laughs> first of all, I got to get home from Navasota. Like, I'm going to need some wheels, man. So he's like, give me a little time and let me work out your rental and uh he said i'll give you a call i was like oh yes 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 he may not call me till monday or middle of next week but oh these bugs <laughs> but the beat the engine is there and that's what i was worried about I'm, I, I kept thinking if it takes the the company two or three months to ship that engine to these people and then they need a month to install it Oh, it's going to put me way too far. And I was so worried about that. But I don't know what yesterday held. I don't know if the cards were right or the universe was right or moons were aligned somewhere in the perfect order. I don't know what happened. Everything came together. Things are moving. All my social uh, internet, online, YouTube, websites, Instagrams and whatnots are all live and, and ready to go. Oh, Patreon. Yes, that's what I've got. I even set up Patreon back when I was reading about setting up a YouTube channel and the best way to do it and things that you should do along with that. And one of the main things was if you start a YouTube channel, open up Patreon. I haven't dealt much with Patreon. I've heard people mention it on their channels and I have gone and looked at it, but it was a while back. So like I'm, I know people go there for memberships and stuff, but you have to like give away prizes or, I didn't know. <laughs> I just, I didn't know. 
So, working on my website, uh, Patreon is one of the links that I need to go on there. So, I jumped over to Patreon to get my link and check everything and make sure because I had just signed up for it and left it. It was asking me questions and I didn't even finish that. So, I wasn't even sure if my sign up went through and I had what I wanted, but it was there. And I got to looking at it and it's like, well, I'm kind of over the website building right now because I don't like the template. I don't like the little editor. I know I'm going to end up coding it myself. So let me just read about this and see if there's something here I can do and get this up and going today with everything else. Long story short, that's what I did. Patreon is also <laughs> up and running. And I just made a post about that video, that little intro video that I put up on YouTube. Now that intro was a long time ago before I bought the van. I hadn't even bought the van yet. I was still looking for vans. I don't remember what month it was. It was, to be honest with you, I made that video before the freeze in February. I bought this thing in March because the second video I made was where I said, okay, forget everything I said in the intro because I bought a van. So now we're going to do this. <laughs> That's just kind of how that video went. That's just kind of what the second video is going to tell you. Like, I know you watched my little intro and I'm so glad you're here, but this is what we're doing now. <laughs> oh, I kind of have a feeling that van life is going to be like that. Like you plan out one thing one way and then the next video you're like, uh, yeah, that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is what we're celebrating. This is what we're excited about. Let's go here. You know, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, so this little video is going to be a quick update just to let everybody know. Of course, you probably already know by now because I'm not quite sure when this is coming out. But I just had to talk about it for a second. Just had to talk about it. So if you're here looking at an update that's probably a couple months old by now, then thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping you found all my live things that I put together and my Instagrams and my Patreons and my websites and all that happiness. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um... Just keep hanging out. I don't know what's to come next, but we're doing things. That's all. <laughs> I can't even say let's do a thing because we're not. We're doing things. It's happening. Oh, I'm so excited. Engine is in. Van's going in. Probably next week. Ooh, yes. Coming down to the wire. I'm kind of thinking in six weeks I'll be gone from here. This place will be empty. Whatever I'm keeping will be in storage. The van will be packed. I'll be on the road. Yes, gonna be going. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do it. <laughs>